just love this Mediterranean salad. So today we're making this really easy to ensemble salad. It's literally everything you can make ahead of time and throw it together. It's perfect for a party or barbecue. Anything. <laughs> perfect. So you start by really just layering blanched green beans and you can see we have we did a video of this not too long ago. Oh, about blanching vegetables. Yeah, so you can go check that out. It helps keep them really vibrant and bright with a little bit of a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. then... And then you can add some red onion to it and we're just yeah. layering it and just vibrant, beautiful colors. And then we're gonna put some... Some fresh tomatoes and tomatoes are just coming sure. into your farmer's market. Yes, there's so many varieties from the yellow ones, all the different all colors. All the heirloom ones. Use them, all of them. They are so sweet and delicious. Now Flavorful. We cut them in half, but I mean, they're tiny enough that you don't even need to do that. No, and then I've got some little baby artichoke hearts. That you I'm... can find these at the, usually an olive bar. We don't really like the ones in the cans because they're kept in a citric acid. They don't taste as good. No, but these are, are mm -hmm. really great. And then we're going to put in some oh, olives. pitted olives. If you don't have pitted, just make sure you warn whoever is about to enjoy this delicious salad <laughs> so that they don't crack their teeth because that would be no fun. And then a little bit of... Uh, mozzarella balls that we've just sliced. So good. Oh, it just adds a really this is just deliciousness to it. And you can actually add a little bit of, they're marinated in some herbed uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then I'm gonna add some capers. Capers. We'll do the red onion. Okay, you've got capers. I'm gonna add a little bit of the feta on the top. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and then last but not least. Yeah, go ahead. We toasted, we dry toasted some pine nuts. Oh, let me wash my hands really quick. Perfect. All right. Perfect. And Look at how beautiful it is coming together. We're just gonna take some fresh basil leaves. I'm gonna just gonna pull these off, just like <laughs> this. And we have a pretty amazing salad, Megan. Yeah, while she's doing that, I'm gonna do some fresh ground pepper. So, and I'm gonna shift a nod, which just means fancy way of saying slicing up thinly basil. sliced <laughs> basil. We can also add some fresh oregano if you want, whatever herbs you want, some fresh thyme, and just sprinkle them on the top. And, and then this we're just is gonna top it. It, or you can add a little. Balsamic, balsamic vinegar. Now this balsamic vinegar comes from our local farmer's market. It's a thick, really flavorful balsamic, but Pretty any, pretty much any balsamic will do. And then I'm gonna take some very flavorful olive oil, drizzle it on the top. And, and you've already put the pepper yeah. on it. So for the full recipe, mm. you can go to curryatgirlskitchen.com. That's it. And here you go. Beautiful <gasps> Mediterranean salad. <laughs> Good job, Meg. <laughs>